Hi, we're Mark and Jody Emery of Cannabis Culture Magazine. We're the editorial team. And you know what? Remarkably, even though we're very proud of our latest issue, number 70, we actually have not taken time to do a YouTube video to promote it. And now that it's on newsstands everywhere in North America and at hemp stores, this beautiful cover is letting you know that our new issue is available out there and you should get it. And Jody's going to tell you more because we got some fun things in here. Oh, absolutely. No, I love this issue, even though it is late. Um, well, we're They're all going to be late. The next issue is going to be late, but it's going to be very good. We're very, very busy around here. Mark and I are the only editorial staff so far. You know, we have a team of five. So and this building is four stories of cannabis activism now. You can't see a bigger building of cannabis two, activism. We've opened a convenience store. We've expanded two floors above the two floors we're already on. 420 convenience right across the street. So it's been very wild lately, and that's why we're a little behind on the magazine, so we'll admit to that. But this issue is really quite great. I love the look of it. I love the pot shots we have in it. And let me show you the centerfold right here. Jason King. This is a gorgeous photo we've got from Jason King from this issue. Beautiful centerfold. Very worthy of anybody's wall. And on the other side... It looks like a parasite that would in, be in your bowels, but in fact, <laughs> I don't it's, think so. it's, it's uh, trichomes blown up, the very THC-laden orbs that we love to smoke, and uh, this is by Bubble Man. We're going to have lots more great macros by him Absolutely. in this issue and in the issue following. Yeah, so we've got fantastic hemp fashion as usual. Um, we like to showcase sustainable fibers and everything that people can use to help incorporate hemp into our lifestyle. We've got Bubble Man's trichomes here. We've got many articles uh, with a lot of pot shots this issue. We like to give you the beautiful green stuff. But besides that, we also have a reader poll inside because it's been a while since we've asked our readers what they like about the magazine, what articles they look at the most. You what know what? What's wrong with this video? I'll tell you what's wrong with this video. I no one's getting high in this video. You pass that over and you tell them about the I did poll. load the bong, but... All right, you loaded the bong? <laughs> We're so serious about this That's issue. That's right. You continue <laughs> telling them about the reader's poll. But I had the reader's poll. I wanted to get it in because I want to know what covers sell, what kind of people are reading our magazine. I wasn't sure if it was a lot of younger people people or a lot of older people and it turns out we've got quite a number of 50 plus males who are single and uh, so far we've received this nice little chunk here of reader poll responses now not only is this valuable for us to know what kind of articles you want to see um, and just information about you as a cannabis culture reader in general but we've included some amazing prizes to motivate you to enter the readers poll so We've got a Volcano Vaporizer, as the grand prize we'll be using in the random draw. So one person will get that Volcano Vaporizer. Uh, two runners-up will receive a glass double bubbler like this. So there's two of these for two more lucky winners. Three people will get a lovely little glass pipe. You know, colors and shape may vary, but nice basic glass, cleanest way to smoke if you're going to. And a Cannabis Culture t-shirt. Now, this is the only one we have in right now because we need to order some more. But one or five more lucky winners will get a Cannabis Culture t-shirt. How many prizes in total? Well, that's one volcano. <coughs> that's two double bubblers. That's three small pipes. And I believe five t-shirts. So we've got ten plus prizes for people who enter the reader's poll. So get the latest issue. Go to this orange. And if you're under 30 or a female, we'd like to hear from you. Because it would appear our readership is dominated by old geezers like myself, <laughs> over 35 to the 60 range. Isn't that what you're finding? Well, I think they also might be the people who respond to our readers. Well, people. they also use the post. Everybody else under 30 is on email. Yeah, that's the other thing. Young people are on the internet. So, uh, But this is the reader's poll, double-sided. You can rip it out. You can photocopy it. And I will be putting it online so you can just download it from there if you haven't got this issue but you're still a reader of the magazine. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have a bong hit here, and I want Mark to tell you about the expansions we've had lately, because well, it has been wild. Well, Tommy Chong is going to come here next weekend. We're hopefully going to do a cover shot with him with this incredible new guitar, the I Chong guitar, that's been di designed by Dan Davidson of Sweet Leaf Guitars, and he sent two here at no charge. They're worth about $2,000 with a case each, and even that's a steal. That's what he sells them for. And one's for Tommy, and we're going to present it to him next week on YouTube uh, as a gift to him from Dan Davidson. Do we have it here, and or is it being at the photo <coughs> shoot Well, actually, right it's now? upstairs at a photo shoot, too. We have go. some hot chicks 
rocking out on it uh, for our centerfolds and our covers and whatever we can get it's in. It's a gorgeous guitar. It's a pot leaf shape. It's handmade down to the details of little pot leaves <coughs> everywhere. It's just gorgeous. So I can't wait for you to see that. But yeah. We'll be filming we're gonna do it. That as, we're going to present that to Tommy on video and uh, hopefully we'll have an amp there and he can play something for us. And we might even have a few backup musicians at that time just to make sure he can test out that guitar properly. So I'm excited about that. That's happening next week. And we might get Tommy on the cover. He's agreed to do it. But if some of my staff gets him high first before he actually gets down to doing the work, it could be a problem. Who so, knows? It doesn't require yeah. him talking, but <laughs> Tommy Chong is a regular writer for the magazine, and ever since he became a pot activist, oh wow, I have a hand reaching David over Mama here. Levine is sneaking into the video. <laughs> Guest cameo by David Mama Levine's hand. <laughs> and speaking of, there is the beautiful Herb Museum, which is now being moved to new places, but that was... Not also, we don't know. well, it, it could move. It All right, see the Herb Museum at 343 East Hastings while it's still around. But it's a beautiful article in this issue. A lot of people have really loved this article, um, and they really love just strong learning pot, about isn't cannabis it? history. Yeah, that's strong pot, isn't it? Um, it was pretty nice hit. I'll say that. <laughs> no, that's, that's killer <laughs> stuff. What is this? That is, I believe, this cushy. Oh, look, that's from um, MM, as it place. were. A local place, Yeah, yes. yeah. But that's as the purple, everything is. That's the purple kush, and that's really, because this fellow has, shall we say, permission to grow, um, it's been grown really to its maturity. Oh, actually, it's been grown by somebody else. Is so it? Oh, you, you were wrong on that one. But shh, <laughs> you don't ever tell about the growers. We just all get our weed from yeah, somewhere blessing. But it's blessing. way more mature than normal, though. So somebody's had the luxury of letting it go to its proper finish. Well, it's nice weed. I'll give you that. It's purple curve. Finish it off. Okay. And I hope you'll be picking up our latest <coughs> issue. Uh, also, check out my YouTube videos if you want. I'm also on YouTube along with Pot TV. See us in Edmonton this weekend. Um, this is uh, the Libertarian true. Convention in Edmonton. And inc I still plan to be up in Whitehorse in three weeks with Jody. And we'll be coming to uh, Toronto to the Toronto Cannabis Cup on yeah. June 14, 15, and 16. And we're going to be at the Liberty Seminars in Orono, Ontario on July 26th and 27th. And we encourage anyone in those communities to come and visit us. So that's our tour schedule for the up coming Edmonton, Whitehorse, Toronto, and... Uh, Ambitious guy. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> but there's a lot of people who have come out to meet, uh, especially since... We'll be the at the movie. Holiday Inn Express on 104th Street uh, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that would be May... What's this weekend date? That's the 9th, or 9th 10th, and 11th. Uh, no, maybe I'm a week behind. Or if, no, you know it's what? the 16th, 17th, and 18th, <laughs> which is coming up right now. We're there in Edmonton. This is Strong Pot, let me tell you. At 104th <laughs> Street, Holiday Inn Express. So call the hotel, leave a message, and we'll meet up with you. Sounds good. All right, thanks, everybody. Pick up issue 70.